back again. We're going out and explore the Frankie as well, obviously. So it's a wee bit of a return, obviously, we didn't get to finish this place. Um, to be fair, obviously, I know a bit more history about the other place that I've visited this morning. So, obviously, we'll check on doing the way as we normally do. And obviously, gotta hit you with some history. Obviously, I'm not too sure the dates and stuff like that because there wasn't really much dates documented. But these things obviously happened. So obviously, part of the history, but it's not completely documented what year, what day, and stuff like that. So if you're new to the channel. Please hit subscribe, ding the bell, make sure it's all notifications so you get updated with our new videos and just enjoy the video. Check back in then soon. Hey folks, this should be a wee bit of a familiar sight, this road here. Obviously we've been here plenty before, we never really finished off. Plus I think it's a bit more history up here. Obviously I don't care what's going to happen here. Because I've never really took any filming up beside the Roslyn Chapel. Oh, so. you could walk over there got that. Oh yeah, of course. But it was too muddy so we just cut across the field, we came it that way. And all the way down here. So, obviously, we never say too much on the Rosalind Chapel any times we have been here. But obviously, that's it over there. Obviously, it's well known by some people. Obviously, found a few interesting facts on it. Uh, Obviously, because I watch a few programs, and to be honest, a lot of these history bits are documented, but obviously, said days and stuff like that aren't particularly documented. So, obviously, to get an almost the full view of it. Yeah. So obviously we're just gonna walk up here just now. See, see, I've never been up this far, really. So we'll see what happens. Check in shortly. There we are, folks. We're just walking down this path here. We don't know if we'll get in or walk. That's just my cafe. Obviously we're not going inside. And also, there has been sightings of phantom monks, I'm sure it's around the outside and stuff like that. So, obviously, quite naturally, we'll just try and pull out something, see if we can gather something. If not, it's just the way it is. So, obviously, we'll have a look down this way. It's just there, it's just this they kind of picture. So we're just walking there just to see. I don't know what's the script here.
thought I'd do, just walk through and stuff, isn't it? That's the, this bit. Obviously, safety first. It's still a bit slippy here. So, obviously, here, this is some of the foregrounds to the chapel. Obviously, at the moment, I've got to catch my breath and we we'll go over the facts and bits of history that we picked up with this. So, check back in a couple of minutes, folks. You know by now, obviously, I'm in the side of the chapel. Obviously, I've not really got any really dates to go on, but apparently, obviously, back in the day, the Knights Templar, um, obviously, they had a siege of. I think it was Jerusalem, but I'm about near there anyway. And apparently they had stolen a great value, something of great value. Apparently this was supposed to be the Ark of the Covenant. Now, it is said that they had journeyed to Roslyn Chapel. And from then on, they're not 100% sure that it is. Because in particular, fun little fact, there's actually sort of two arts of the covenant. One was recovered in King Tutankhamun's uh, chamber, burial chamber. Obviously, it's completely different to obviously the original one. Obviously, there is only pictures and descriptions of it. Apparently, the original Ark of the Covenant. Either lies in say Roslyn Chapel in a chamber underground or it's in uh, Oak Island. Obviously there is a TV show just now about the curse of Oak Island and obviously with the tablets found the same kind of curse that was actually put on in King Tutankhamun's chamber, burial chamber. Obviously it swings near to resembling what it is. Obviously, the Oak Island, the curse says seven people must die before they actually uncover the treasure. And apparently, it's believed to say that it could be the Ark of the Covenant. However, there is, I think it's in Ethiopia or Ethiopia or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. I always get the name wrong, but there's meant to be a chapel there with one uh, priestess uh, that claims that he's looking after it and to be honest it's not 100% sure that if it's totally true to be honest after the apparent travel with art coming into Roslyn Chapel however it's not said if it actually left there Obviously we've left that part now, just thought I'd get a nice look at this, I'll zoom right in for this, look at the snow caps over there, 
Great Kill, and obviously you can see the vast land here as well. The uh, Rosling Glen. Obviously, we're going to take this path along here. Obviously, down there, you should be able to see the graveyards that we want to pass again. And over down this way, down the bottom of this ridge, will be the Rosling Castle. Obviously, we will be walking over there soon because the last time, obviously, we were just going to see if we would do any hauntings. Obviously, we came in a day just for me. Obviously, see if we can get a bit of evidence. Obviously, as we said before, if we capture anything, we will return and we'll do a proper investigation. What we'll do once we get back round, I'll have a wee browse. Cause I know I found much, but maybe we'll find something now to see what we need to do. If it's a fair bit of money, we'll just be say bugger it. We'll just return back round there, uh, around the edges of it, and see if we can pick up on anything. Fair enough. It's mostly communication we use, so if something comes over. At least they believe that it could be something we will obviously hold that in the bank and say we need to return to do a proper investigation. So obviously we'll make our way down there. We will check back in with you shortly folks. Right folks, obviously we've just noticed we looked online and obviously it's meant to be £9 each. To be honest, we haven't got a lot of money at the moment. Obviously when we get paid we can go into the grounds and stuff like that and show you more extensive. Obviously we're just going to take a quick stroll. Uh, obviously we'll head to the castle and then obviously we'll probably stop it there and then start for a second part anyway so obviously we'll take you on the stroll with us just now so as a lot of you will know you have seen this path before obviously that one up there we never walked round the chapel before so obviously it was something new Fair enough, just a wee bit of history from the outside a bit. Just apologise that obviously we've not really got the money to spend to go in, but obviously we can come back. Obviously, this camera is meant to be HD, so. Obviously, I'm not sure what would be better, the phone or this, so hopefully this is better, that's why we bought it, so. Obviously if you're new to the channel and you haven't actually seen our first video first time we came here we wandered down that path there obviously we've actually got two graveyards I think that's like a normal cemetery obviously this one here and up there 
think some of them are normal up there as well, but it's also the war graves, the Commonwealth war graves. So obviously it looks like nobody gets in them, I don't think. You better get in, but to be honest, I'm not gonna. I'm not exactly gonna just wander in and just be annoyed, you know what I mean? Obviously, we can see enough from over here. But to be honest, sometimes you do get some really nice old graves, stones, and especially in the Commonwealth war graves as well. Obviously, I felt a bit bad for no obviously having a video this week. So, obviously, more this one is just kind of the walkthrough with us. So, obviously, we can put it up, and obviously, we can have a second part. Obviously, we're going to try a fair bit, see if we can get any communication from the castle. Obviously, as well, while we're there, we need to listen to it because apparently you're meant to hear residual energy of the battle, the battle cries, screams, obviously clangs. Obviously, the last time it was a bit strange because of the Battle of Roslyn. I don't think they actually had cannons back then, but I actually heard cannon fire when we were over at the gunpowder factory. Maybe that could be residual energy of the gunpowder factory. Yeah, uh, uh, you have some, some of them, but to be fair, to be fair, obviously when they travel, they're not going to take that big thing as about, to be fair, obviously. You want to just get there as light as possible and stuff. So, obviously, as I was going to say, it could have been residual energy from the gunpowder factory. Um, obviously, when they're making stuff, obviously, they've got to test it. So, that's probably what it was, to be honest. Obviously, it's great to see this scenery once again. Beautiful up here. It's a wee bit more better weather than me go out, uh, go to uh, Roslyn Glen because it is beautiful, to be fair. Yeah, like yeah, but obviously, when we mean it's a bit warmer and stuff like that, and it's not too uh, squishy mud, <laughs> to be honest, because obviously we've had some times down here where it was worse. But obviously we're lucky that we've not been rained on just now because it is due. Thought I heard a car there folks. Obviously you have got the car park up the back for the Rosalind Chapel so obviously. To be fair folks, obviously, in our first video we have went over some of the history here. So obviously for us this time we are coming to return as we were going to try and gather some evidence to lead us back to their proper investigation. So obviously we can only go down, see what happens and then go through there. Yeah, we 
obviously then you can hear the bugs, right? <laughs> so they've woke up. Why would there be cars in there? Well, to be honest, you shouldn't have any cars in there. Well, that's why when I mean, it's a cold day, you shouldn't have be been running through puddles. You're gonna end up with frostbite. <laughs> Obviously, you can see this deep drop. Structure beside that tree. Stop. No, there's a stone structure beside it. I'm sure. Oh. I don't know, it could be a tree, but I'm sure it's a stone structure beside it. Just because it's torn on it. So there folks, we have arrived back at the Roslyn Castle, obviously, we're just having a wee look around again and then obviously we can try and do what we can, obviously we can find some reason to make us come back and investigate this place because the guards of what's left, they must hold some hauntings due to the fact that there's so many people passing through this castle and due to the many killings and deaths due to battles or just in normal greed back then for the castle and the wealth. Then over that side because I don't want to pick up the registration because obviously that's a breach of identity on the car. I don't know what they're doing. So what we'll do folks, we'll walk over this way and we'll show you the back bit, obviously, just to see if anything's changed around there. And then construction, aye, but I don't understand why they're parking the cars in here. Obviously, I think when we start a wee bit of an investigation, we may start over this way anyway. Obviously, you still get the structure from this side. Oh, there's a squirrel gone up. Hello, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Hi, squirrel. So obviously it's not really as muddy as the last time we actually walked around here. So we'll have a wee walk around here a wee bit. 
so just be careful so obviously it's only really this bit that's it's alright so obviously somebody's tried restoration work over there just to try and keep this bit here ok it's quite a steep drop the river down the bottom there Eh? No, no, I'm just having a look. Oh, there's where that. It's maybe a wee cave. It's under the castle or something. To be honest, I'm not going to go much further. I'm going to be a bit stupid myself. So obviously, it's a bit of a bend there and it'll slope down. So obviously you can get a good picture of this castle and all this, we have walked around a wee bit more this time. Have a look over this here as well folks. So you can see the path that we did down the bottom over there. Somebody's had a fire there anyway. There's a lot of ash inside that soil. <laughs> we all bit in a pocket through because of the car sitting there, obviously. That's the other side bit there that they fenced off just for safety. It is incredible, obviously, you can just go forth and put your hand on history and obviously the energy that these stones have endured all over the years through that history. So what we'll do folks, I think that'll do it for this part, obviously it's just been a wee bit of history, fair enough, going to get out the Rosalind Chapel but we will be back again and obviously we've seen a bit of this, seen a bit of Rosalind Glen at a different time of the year so yep, we're going to check back in shortly to sign off. Right folks, obviously we've came to the end of this part, uh, obviously I wish it was a bit more exciting but obviously we can only take it as it comes, to be fair, now we're just going to do an investigation and see if we can pick up on anything, if we can, obviously it'll lead us back to do a full investigation. So I'd like to thank you for coming to the end of the video, if you're new, please make sure you hit that subscribe ding the bell, make sure the notifications are set to all notifications and to be nice, how we like on that video. Cheers. And obviously uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye.